Hi, my most favorite fabulous first grade boombas. Here is the story Miss Stories read aloud for the week. It's called Stick and Stone by Beth Ferry and Tom Lichenheld. See, I tried sounding that out. I am so excited to read this to you, and I hope that you will read it back to me for 10 minutes of freckle reading time. Oh, I'm so excited. This is one of my favorite stories. I'm actually going to read the inside cover first, but you don't have to read that to me. When Stick rescues Stone from a prickly situation, they soon become good friends. But when Stick gets stuck, can Stone return the favor? Stick and Stone will tickle your funny bone and warm your heart. Join the pair as they discover that the best friends rock. We know that. Okay, so I'm going to turn the page. Oh, look, there's the title page again. Remember, it has the title on it. It'll have the authors. Very cool. Now, there's something I want to point out. On this cover, on this page right here in orange, it has two rock, uh, Chris, my rock, best friend, to my cohorts from the v Valley Forge Friends for Life TL. So what that was is each of the authors put their initials and they dedicated the book to someone. That's called the dedication page. Oh, here we go. Stick. Stone. Lonely. Alone. A zero. A one. Oh, I love that reading page. Alone is no fun. Stick, stone, along comes pine cone. Makes fun of stone. Aww. Won't leave him alone. Vanish, says Stick. Hmm, I wonder what the word vanish means. You tell your loved one. His word does the trick. Hey, there goes pine cone. Look at him. He's all. Go ahead and make the worst. The best face you can. Just like pine cone. Turn the page. Stone whispers. Gee, you stuck up for me. That's just what sticks do. Friends do it too. Do you get that joke? You stuck up for me. A stick stands up. A stick will stick up or stuck up for anyone. Stick, stone, no longer alone. Oh, now I'm really happy. Stick, stone, a friendship has grown. Look at all the bubbles. Do you like blowing bubbles? I like blowing bubbles. Turn the page. They wander Explore. These are some tough words. You might have to practice this before you read it to me. Lays by the shore. Lays means they're just relaxing being. Hey, that's right. Lazy. I want to go there. What animals are jumping out of the water? There's two of them. It has the digraph in it. I know you had, you know I had to throw some teaching in there. That makes the F sound like elephant. Telephone, dolphin, wink, wink. All right, turn the page. Then thunder and rain, boom, a loud hurricane. Do you see that word boom with all the exclamation points? That's how you want to say it with feeling. Boom, turn the page. Stick is wind blown. There goes pine cone. Hold on calls out stone. I want you to think about what does wind blown mean? Think about those two words, wind and blown. It means blown by the wind. And did you see another one of those exclamation points? Hold on! Turn the page. Again, he is, he's, I'm sorry, he is, is when um, the two words, but when you smoosh them together, it's called a contraction. And it's he's, he's alone. 
turn the page. Search day. Stick. 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 Search day and search night. No stick in sight. And I want you to look at that. Do you see the word stick is capitalized? It's got a big S. And that's because stick is the stick's name. We always capitalize the name. All right, like your name, your first and your last name have a big capital letter. Turn the page. What's this? A huge puddle? You see the question mark? Stick stuck in the mud. I turn the book upside down. Help! Look, look, there's stick, but he's upside down, and upside down says, help! Again, with that exclamation point. Turn the page. Stone rescues him quick. I see the picture of him rolling down, and then he bounces off a rock. Cowabunga! Another one of those words with the exclamation marks. And then there's stick upside down, and then ready? Curse bloosh! I love the words in these. Turn the page. You rock, Stone, says stick. That's just what stones do. Best friendship rocks too. Okay, take a look at the word in the first um, sentence. You rock stone. Do you see how that has a big capital letter also? That's because the stone's name is stone. All right, stick, stone, together again. I wonder what they're doing with that seashell. Hmm, turn the page. Stick, stone, a perfect 10. Now, before I show the picture, why do you think they're saying, the story writers are saying a perfect 10? Okay, look at the picture. Do you see how that could be the number one and the number zero? And we put the two digits next to each other. We got a zero in the ones place and a one in the tens place, and that gives us the number. 10. All right, turn the page. <gasps> to the end. Oh, and look, look, there's a butterfly flying in. And look, there's Pinecone who had a capital P. Sorry, I needled you so much. So Pinecone was nice in the end. And the reason why he said, I needled you so much, is that means kind of bugging you. Because imagine if you had like a pine cone, pine needle sticking you. And because pine cones fall up a pine tree, and pine trees have needles, do you see that joke? It's called a pun. I know, what a silly word. What a great book. Oh my gosh, and look, stone is getting shot out of a volcano. What a wonderful story. I hope that you will record yourself reading this back to me. And I love seeing pictures of you holding up the book or reading. Te amo mucho. I love you so much. Adios.